So now that we're an independent country, what type of government should we have? Yes. What is the best government for our nation? We need control and power invested in somebody. How about a dictatorship? Yes, but it's just too risky to bestow that much power in just one individual. I mean, look back at history. Um. Uh, oh, yes, I know. Think of Hitler. That's a perfect example. He started World War II, and he was a dictator. the door down. Spread out and find him. Get up, don't go. I will give you a choice. You may either bow down and worship me, or you will die. It is your decision. Get on your knees. I would rather die than worship you. Kill him! Okay, maybe a dictatorship isn't the best form of government. Maybe people should have more rights and less oppression. What's wrong with the socialist government? I mean, nobody's really poor. If we spread the wealth around, more people will get higher levels of education and training, and then they can have better jobs. I agree. More common people can engage in jobs that require higher education. This surely opens up more room for success. Sir, I'm from the government. This money that I'm about to give you has been taxed from the wealthy by the government. You may use it as you wish. Yes, I can go to college now! Oh yeah, you're with the government. Thanks to you and the government, I now have a job and a family. Man, that sounds great. It's glad to see you're doing so well. Yeah, that's our job. See ya! See ya. You see, those things can be true, but socialism destroys the very incentives for working hard. I mean, there's just too little reward for the motivated. Like, the people should be allowed to keep their money rather than waste it on government spending. I mean, the government is just flat out too big. I must agree with what you just said. I don't want lazy people benefiting from my hard work. Hmm. I should probably use this money to go to college and get a good job. But the government would just keep giving me money anyway. But even if I did get a good job, the government would just tax me even more and give my money to people like me. Alright, since neither of the first two governments seem to work, I say we do a monarchy. Well, I mean a constitutional monarchy with a parliament, of course. But, um, basically, the reason why I believe that is because the people can still have rights and representation while there is still a governing power in a central position. Basically being the king. Yes, I like it. People can have a say through parliament and still be ruled by an authority. Your Majesty. You may rise. I have the taxes for this month. Thank you. You may just you may leave. Your Highness, may I have a seat? Yes, 
Mr. Mayor. Dear Highness, I come before you today with a proposal from the Parliament on what to do with the money. Okay. Parliament requests that you raise the income of all of the government officials. Aren't we at war right now, though? But, sir, Parliament's more important right now. They make decisions based on what the people need. I've made my decision. We are going to fund our defenses in the war. Okay, there's still several problems with the monarchy that will occur. One being that there are hardly any checks and balances, and the king has too much authority over parliament. The people need to be represented in a more fair way. Besides, look at France and how they dealt with their monarchy. Well, so we come to the conclusion that none of these governments work. What then shall we do? Let's harness our resources and form our own government with several branches that share power. We'll have to make sure there are checks and balances between the branches. That way, no one can seize complete control. The government's purpose will be to serve the people in the best and efficient way possible. We will establish a document certifying that the people's rights will be protected. We should name it the Articles of Freedom because it defends the people's rights. Sounds great. But how big exactly is our government going to be? I mean, are we going to give it the power to tax? Yes, I would advocate for a flat tax that applies to all citizens. I think we're on the verge of a very successful government that rewards hard work and provides a true opportunity for a better life. The main goal of our country is to help the citizens lead a prosperous, peaceful, and successful life. We need to record all these laws we're constructing and their details in one unified document. What should we name it? How about the Axioms of Society? Hmm. So, so it's like the principles of society and how it's governed? Sound good? Yep. Alright. What you doing business with you? You too. Enough with anarchy. We need to control. Uh. We need control and power. We need to control and power. Ready? And. Right. <laughs> you <win>. And. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, so we come to the conclusion that none of these governments work. What then shall we do? <laughs> and. Action. And. Action. Okay. Where am I? Okay. Yeah, ready. Wait, I just told the bottle like this when I was about to drink. <laughs> you may sit down. Thank you. These are the yearly supply income? Yes, sir. What what do the people suggest we use it on? 
Nothing? Okay. You may be gone. <laughs> Your Majesty. You may rise. I have the taxes for this month. Awesome. You may leave. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. And... Action. You... <laughs> 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 Your Highness, may I suggest what you do with that money? Sure, go ahead. Why don't you raise the income of all the parliament members? Why would I do that? Well, we get more money. I know that. <laughs> That's not what, why I'm asking. But if we don't fund the war, we're at risk for defeat. And if we do that, then our country won't no longer, won't no longer exist. Won't no longer <laughs> exist. <laughs> No! What happened? <laughs> you realize like, set the bottle down. You were like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <Okay>. Ready? <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, before I can say action. No, no. Hang on. Finally, I got my paycheck. Excuse me, sir. You're a communist, Russia. All hail King David. No, no. The glory be to God. God has blessed Israel beyond imagination. Yes, my king. Yes, we have good generation coming. The future is hopeful. People need more rights. A democratic republic. Remind me to pass a bill against being drunk. <laughs> Do you swear to do the best of your ability as your job as Prime Minister of the Sudan? Yes, I do. Then by the powers granted to me, I now inaugurate you as Prime Minister of the Sudan. Mr. Prime Minister? Yes. Being your uh, foreign policy advisor, I would strongly suggest we uh, go to war with France due to our strong alliances, you know, with uh, England. Mr. Prime Minister, I highly advise you not to go to war against France. We need to cut off all trade between both countries while they're at war. Otherwise, we'll be biased against one, and the other country will go to war with us. Uh, uh, I mean, I would, I would take my side because we, we need to support our allies. I mean, that's why we're allies, isn't it? But sir, our axiom says that we will not go to war with other countries we're not involved with. We will follow the laws stated in the axioms of society. <laughs> <laughs>